to our channel. This is Smile Physics. Today we will be doing an experiment on magnets. Before you is a balanced meter rule. A physics student should know that a meter rule will balance at the 50 cm point. So we have balanced our meter rule. Then we are going to do 1998 wire first question. We just here we have this rotor stand as our pivot, uh, our meter rule, and our set of masses. As usual, we will read the question and then follow the instructions given. The question reads thus. You are provided with a uniform meter rule. This is the meter rule, a knife edge, and a body of mass M. 20 gram. This is our 20 gram mass. Suspend the given body M by means of a thread on the 1 cm mark of the meter rule. Balance the loaded meter rule on the uh, loaded meter, meter rule on the pivot. Then that is the knife edge. Determine and record the value of X uh, when the meter rule is in horizontal equilibrium. Record the value of x and evaluate 1 over x. That is the reciprocal of x that we should evaluate it. Repeat the procedures for m equal to 40, 60, 80, and 100. All right, we set off. This is our thread. So we we'll cut a part of the some thread. All right, we tie it so that we can use it to be hanging our masses. This is our one cm mark. Get it to our one cm mark, then we we'll balance. Remember, it when balancing, if your meter rule is going this way, that means you should be moving your pivot to that side. If it's moving backwards, like now, you should move it backwards a little bit and know where it balances. Do you understand? It is getting there. We have balanced it. Let us move it a little bit. Very good. Let me bring our camera close so that you will see the balance point and you will see what we mean. So here we have balanced our 20 cm and the balance point is at 44. Look at it. 44. The 44 cm mark. Hope you can see it. It's at the 44 cm mark. That's where the balance point is. Okay, it is at 44. I hope you can see it. It is balanced. This is what we call a horizontal equilibrium. You are not touching it. Nobody is holding it. It has balanced. So we will do this. I will do the last one. That's 100 because of our time. So that you, you will know the range, the trend on which it is moving. All right, we'll go and notice. Remember, we said that when you are making your table, that variables you get from the question is recorded in one decimal place. That is your M in gram. I will show you our table. Your M in gram should be in one decimal place. The ones you get 
from the question that is your from your apparatus that is your x in cm should be in two decimal place then the one you evaluated using your calculator should be in three decimal place one two three so for m equals to 20 x is equal to what 43 because it's 41 minus 44 43 cm all right let us go over to 100 because of time this will give you the trend if you are in example once you do the first and the last you have gotten the trend you can fix uh, other numbers or when you are doing the others you will know if you are getting it correctly or not so like i said if it is going this way you move your pivot to this side if it is going that way you move your pivot to that side do you understand very good remember that your load should be in the 1 cm mark as the permanent place your load should be the 1 cm mark so make sure your load is at the 1 cm mark before you start balancing do you understand so it's now at the 1 cm mark then i will balance it is moving this way so i will shift it little by little it's still moving this way i am coming very close to the balance point very close very very close that is it i get the balance point let us show you our balance points that is 30. I hope you can see it at the 30 cm mark. We are using the calibration under, not the one on top. If you watch our 1 cm mark, our 1 cm mark is at the down part. So that's why we are using the one down. Very good. So 30. So now we will write it in our. We'll write it in our table that 100 cm gave us 30, sorry, minus 1 will give us 29. 29. So I will do the rest off camera, fill it, and show you our table. Then we'll go over to plotting of graph.